which first year players are making a big impact early in the race for the rookie of the year hardware not in the top five currently but he's amidst some terrific talent nonetheless and there's still plenty of time for him and to be there among the top ten of this very talented rookie class really says a lot about his potential. Yep, and there's a lot of competition for the ROI this season. Rookie of the year, folks, if you're not keeping up. And as early as it is, you know, he's got plenty of time to put himself right in the middle of the running. A look at the starting group for the Magic. Outside the wings are Suggs and Wagner. Bancaro and Carter make up the inside pair. And it's Anthony in at the one. And for Chicago, Rojevic is the pivot. Williams is in the other post spot. Star pair of Levine and DeRozan are your wingmen. And it's White in the point guard. And you know, after a difficult start to his career, Wendell Carter Jr. has come into his own. You know, some of that, I think, was due to health, Greg, but fit is so important. Fit and alignment. I think he got an increased role after leaving Chicago and proved to be an impactful player on both ends with that additional playing time. On the wing, Levine launches it. Good on the triple. Total confidence. Levine was ready to go. Orlando, they've gone two or three here to start off the game. And here is Anthony. And Caro outside. A shot by Carter. Nobody around. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. The real. Come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Good on the shot. Levine brings a lot to this team. One of the elements he brings is his passing. First quarter, about a minute and a half in. Now, Suggs. He gives his team some nice contributions, averaging a bit over 10 points a game. I tell you what, the defense should send Christmas cards for that miss. The train. It's hauled in by the Magic. Now here's Anthony. Inside. Here's Ben Carroll. And finished off by Ben Carroll. Part of the job description as a guard. But Anthony relishes the chance to get his teammates good looks. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Magic lead by four. And back in a moment as we'll get underway with quarter number two. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And from what we've seen from Orlando, what do you guys see? An impressive start. They came in with a well-conceived game plan and have executed. Yeah, you know what? Makes it really easy for the coaching staff in that case. No adjustments needed. Just keep on keeping on. Mark, in recent years, Orlando's been one of the league's bigger teams. Well, you can see clearly, Kevin, that the front office prioritizes length. Um, you don't ever have to really worry about them playing small ball. They've got Torrey Craig. Lonzo Ball out there with Alex Caruso. And it's DeRozan, and it's Drummond in at the five down low. That's the group for the Chicago Bulls to start the second quarter. Fultz the pass to Wagner. Fires from deep. That's good from Bancaro on the assist from Wagner. Bancaro's got five now. Ball against Fultz. Drummond with a screen on Fultz. And it's Ball penetrating. Score the basket, his second of two attempts. Man, he's got great speed, Ball does. This guy is really good at finding ways to slither through the defense. Fultz, the pass to be touched. That's going to be out of bounds. The Magic will retain possession. And top ten in fewest turnovers per game. That just tells you this is a group that values taking care of the ball. And as you said, the three-point shot has been a major weapon for him. Carter, he's checked in for Torrey Craig. Orlando also making some changes. Subs, he's checked in for Mo Wagner. And Anthony subbed in for Markel Fultz. Pass the ball. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. DeRozan with a screen for Carter. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. You know, the screen wasn't that great, but still he got it done. Excellent concentration on the hard finish. 
So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group. Here. Vucevic, he's checked in for Andre Drummond. Williams comes in for DeMar DeRozan. Zach Levine's checked in for Alex Caruso. And it's Kobe White in for Lonzo Ball. Right side, White. Let's the three fly. And it's Wagner with the rebound. And Wagner's got the ball here for the Magic. Outplayed in the previous game on their schedule, losing to Chicago. Yeah, I mean, on the road, their defense was just overrun. Couldn't match the intensity of the opponent, and it cost them. And you know what, guys? It just seemed like they never really had the kind of energy necessary. They just weren't comfortable on the defensive end. And that'll do it for the first half. Game time. We'll see you after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. Welcome, everyone, to halftime. The Chicago... Well, how is this game close? I know it's becoming a jump-shooting lead, but you got to at least threaten teams on the interior. Generating some... E and let's take a glance. And that is it for halftime. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. Well, you have to like what we're seeing so far from Paolo Bancaro. And even with the defense shading towards him on every trip down, he still finds a way to come up big. Well, we're not surprised by that. No more than what we've come to expect of him. He can adapt and adjust to anything a defense tries to throw at. And so in the game for the Magic, and Caro and Carter make up the inside pair. Outside the wings are Suggs and Wagner. And it's Anthony in at the point. They get it back. No one near Suggs as he lets it go. And the three off target. Boy, I'm absolutely shocked he didn't get that one to go. Usually he's money from deep. Levine gets the bucket. That's really good focus by Levine. Making sure the concentration was there so the shot goes even as he's bumped. Anthony finds Van Carroll. Over Williams. Carter. And Carter with his second chance point. Carter's got seven points in the game. And you know, after starting 0 for 3 this half, they finally get one down. And now the latest from our reporter, David Alder. Thank you, Kevin. Well, there's a lot of pressure that comes with being the number one overall pick in the draft, but Paolo Van Carroll said, I'm just letting the game come to me. Not trying to press or reach a certain statistical milestone. Just making the right plays, taking the right shots, competing, and bringing it every day on defense. Kevin, he thinks that approach is paying off. Oh, David, it sure is. Thank you for the report. And White kicks to Levine. Third quarter of basketball, about a minute and a half in. And again, it's the Bulls from deep. And this team, they love Levine's talent. But more important now, they love the hard work and the improvement that's following. Van Caro. Pass to Anthony. Back to Van Caro. Another shot. That one falls coming off Anthony's feet. Van Caro's got four points this quarter. Perfect execution. The size of this match was there, and they went right in. Not only perfect execution, how about perfect timing, too? And Carroll, right side, over DeRozan. And that one released in time, but no good. The third quarter comes to a close. The Bulls are... Let's take a listen to a recent huddle from Coach B. Hold your ground. Don't let him back your way in. Just hold... Well, this has been a great contest so far, and I imagine the fourth quarter could have even more action in store for us. Levine on the wing, along with DeRozan. Vucevic is the pivot. Williams is in the other post spot. And it's White in at the one spot. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. The offensive talent, the ingenuity, size, strength. Van Carroll has a full book bag, folks. Vucevic with the bucket. Huge hole in the defense, that possession. He didn't waste any time cutting through. The Magic trail by six. Here's Van Carroll. And finished off by Van Carroll. Van Carroll putting together some kind of performance here. He's the entire pack. Williams can't hit. 
Anthony with it. There's 126 left in the fourth quarter. Pulls up on the elbow. And Paolo Bancaro again. A bit of a lost art, the mid-range jumper. But nice to see Bancaro knock it down. Way to go, Paolo. Good work there as it goes. Boy, where is the effort defensively? You, you have got to put up a better fight. And you know, it's made for a fun game, but you're right. You're exactly right. I mean, the defense has been non-existent. Wagner with it. Now guarded by DeRozan. No coverage. That's a Wagner, he'll find the wide-open teammate more often than not. Heady player. For Chicago, they've gone two or three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. Hit by Vucevic. Levine inside the three-point line. Second chance shot. Good! Oh, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. Cool, calm, collected, and confident in the biggest moment of the game? Yes. I right now I've sent it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what Jamal Mosley was saying to the team. Now, Coach was still pretty positive. He told his guys a handful of shots completely changes this game. Just a few good minutes, and we're right there. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. Tell you what, we've got a game. I like that Levine's rising to the challenge as things get tight. And Kiro outside. Out to Anthony. Six to shoot. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And they foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now again and again. They're not in the penalty yet. And you know what? Smart foul. you got to try and extend the game. Sure. It's not over. The clock is as much a problem for them as the score is right now, so they've got to try to manage it. First personal foul. First free throw is good, and that puts them up by five. You know, when you think of Zach Levine, his scoring comes to mind immediately, but he also rebounds effectively and passes it pretty good, too. And as long as they can keep doing that kind of work at the foul line, this lead will be safe. Sixteen seconds left to play here in the fourth, and so they choose to intentionally foul. You have to foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. They didn't really have a, another option. I mean, I thought they did a nice job getting it in his hands and making sure he was the guy who'd go to the line. Here's Anthony. Pass to Carter. Here's Ben Carroll. Hands the three. Beautiful play that time by Ben Carroll. He's got a lot of special qualities. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Gets the first, and that increases their lead to six. And so both free throws are good, and it's a seven-point game. Fires from way outside. No good. So the Bulls win it, and they are prevailing when it matters. Right picking up their second in.